Uh, Darren, I think that game epitomises the say in a game of two arse. Mm-hmm. What was the difference there? I don't know, I just, you know, we, we, we spoke again um, at half time and I just felt the first 10, 15 minutes, I, don't know, I just didn't want to, what, what's the term, lay a glove on them, that's the term, isn't it? So, you know, it was just nicey, nicey and run around alongside them and that. You're playing football, you've got to be aggressive, you've got to be aggressive. Um, and when I say aggression, I don't mean trying to work people and snap people in half. I'm on a bat when you're shutting someone down, getting their face. And when you're running down the sides of people and you're working hard to create space and that, do it with a bit of bite about you. Um, and for the first 15 minutes, you know, we've done, we done all right. We, we do what we do. We move the ball around and we create a couple of opportunities, nearly went in front ourselves. And then obviously the boy dives and, and, and gets the penalty and, and it, it changes the flow of the game. They, they raise their game and we just started getting going but you know it's it's still learning it's great education for us we're playing against a decent side albeit young boys but handle the ball very well um, or, or we certainly allow them to handle it very well but then second half when we started to be a bit more aggressive you know it, it, it's difficult to play under pressure the best players in the world are, are very good at it because they play under pressure um, and we started to chase and run a bit harder in the second half and we nearly got ourselves back in the game, but obviously pleased that our performance was better. How important is it that we iron out that slow start before the real stuff starts? We've got Yeovil in a few in less than two weeks now. How important is it that we get that out of our game straight away? Yeah, I mean, listen, we're building towards that. I'm sure there'll be a, a, an excitement and an energy about us on the opening day of the season. Um, hopefully we can get as many through the door as we can and, and, and the fans will get behind the boys and... You know, they'll be. They're, I think they're ready to go now. I mean, we've got the one more game on Saturday at St Albans, but you know, there's things that we're still working on. It's 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 constantly a work in progress. Um, but you're right to highlight that. It's something that we want to want to start quick. We want to play the middle part quick, and we want to finish quick. It, it's it's how I want to do things. So um, we'll get better. I think we're on the right track. Um, so yeah, but you're right to highlight that. Yeah. Just finally from me. A brief word on Ronnie Edwards and Joe Taylor coming on tonight. A few academy boys getting some first-team minutes. Yeah, I mean, look, we, I'm, I'm still being a little bit careful with one or two that have got niggles. You know, I didn't want to take no risk tonight. Um, there'll be hopefully one or two of them available again on Saturday, the likes of Jack Taylor and Shay maybe, uh, and Shaq hopefully. Um, but what has allowed me to do is put some academy boys on who've got unbelievable futures in front of them, the way, the way they conduct themselves. Young Joe Taylor, who's a very promising young man, uh, and Ronnie's the youngest of them all. Um, a very mature, composed uh, head on, on very young shoulders, and you know two more out, out of the academy that we've got real high hopes for.